myself dr murthy ansari department of anatomy gmc vedya since we know due to corona effect we are staying safely at our home one should stay to save ourselves and save other community for that we have decided to take short videos short learning classes since you are adult learner so just we can give you tips you can read you can study yourself you are adult learner you are not a child learner so we, we will give input and we will take feedback to update your classes your knowledge a complete your session so please as a very short video i am going to give introduction of next of triangle you can very well see here so yeah. is the lateral aspect of face it's a lateral aspect of face suppose this is median raphe median line and this is the posterior posterior lateral surface of the neck this is lateral view lateral surface of the neck and we can for deep and particular study of this region neck neck is divided into two triangles first anterior triangles of neck and posterior triangle of triangles of neck now come over anterior triangle of neck this is lower border of mandible and this this one is upper border of clavicle this limits the upper and lower limit and this area is divided into two parts anteriorly and posteriorly by a muscle sternocleidomastoid muscle so anterior border of sternocleidomastoid and your median raphe it is it is the region of different triangles of anterior aspect of the neck again it is subdivided into three or four parts one is your submental area but you can here visualize this muscle is posterior belly of digastric this is homo head wire muscle and this one part belly is anterior belly of digastric muscle below these two posteriorly posterior digest belly of digastric and anteriorly anterior belly of digastric and limited superiorly by the lower border of your mandible this triangle is known as digastric triangle below this anterior border of sternocleidomastoid muscle and anterior belly of homo hyoid muscle and inferior border of your posterior belly of digastric muscle it covers and forms a triangle of vital organ that's why of carotid artery that is that's why it is known as carotid triangle of the neck this is a part of anterior triangle of neck and come over the third part of the anterior triangle of the neck it is muscular it is bounded by the both belly of homo hyoid muscle and inferiorly by the superior border of the clavicle muscle and laterally by the sternocleidomastoid muscle this is muscular triangle this is known as muscular triangle now come over the posterior triangle of the neck posterior triangle of the neck is very important why all triangles are important because they contain the vital structures of the neck region now posteriorly you have just see here the posteriorly it the thick muscle long muscle it is known as trapezius anterior border of the trapezius and posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle they meet superiorly at the nipple line and inferiorly it is covered by the superior surface of the clavicle this triangular area is known as the posterior triangle of the neck again it is subdivided into two parts 
one part it is have divided by the posterior belly of the omo hawaiat muscle omo what does it mean omo means omo means shoulder the muscle which runs towards the shoulder that's see that that's why it is named as omo hawaiat muscle omo hawaiat muscle it divides the posterior triangle in two triangles one is supra a superior triangle and one is supraclavicular or subclavian triangle it is supraclavicular clavicular or subclavian triangle or subclavian triangle you know in this area we have studied in the study of face this zone is known as both ala of the nose and upper lip i with the angle of mouth it is known as dangerous area of face on in triangle this triangle is very important this region subclavian triangle is also known as dangerous area of neck region details about the triangle floor and surface as we will study later on in next video Thank you